Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Techno Universe. The most popular trend nowadays is the space industry. Everyone is talking about it and wants to know the latest updates to be well informed. The space industry is also booming by leaps and bounds, all thanks to Elon Musk and SpaceX for bringing spacecraft into the limelight. Let's see what experts have to say about SpaceX CEO Elon Musk and his ambitions. Former astronaut, engineer, and pilot Buzz Aldrin, who is famous for being the second person to walk on the moon, has some interesting views on SpaceX. Initially, Buzz had been a strong critic of Elon Musk and SpaceX. But over time, he has changed and become the biggest supporter of Elon Musk. In response to Falcon 9's 100th flight, Buzz tweeted, Well done again, SpaceX on a successful mission. You're starting to make it look easy, which we know it never is. Don't forget, my friends, space is a risky business, but it is worth the rewards. Hats off to Elon Musk for taking the risk to propel us into the future. Later, the tweet was deleted, but the sentiment behind the tweet still remains the same. Buzz has admired the idea of Elon Musk leading humans to Mars. Buzz Aldrin's colleagues from the Apollo missions, Gene Cernan, had criticized Elon over time and made many verbal assaults previously. But now, his views are also changed. Gene and a few other astronauts from the Apollo missions came together to give Elon Musk a heartfelt gift, which was a signed picture of the Falcon 9 with good wishes from the Apollo team. Buzz Aldrin's tribute said, and now a giant leap for commercial space, while Gene Cernan wrote, Congratulations on a job well done, now the challenge begins. It is noteworthy that in May 2020, NASA astronauts Bob Benken and Doug Hurley became the first people to launch into space on a SpaceX belt capsule and rocket. While speaking from the International Space Station, Benken told CNBC, The ride, I'll say, was a bit smoother than our shuttle experience, and the shuttle was a bit rougher, at least at the beginning. Both Benken and Doug's launch on the 31st of May marked the first time that SpaceX had sent humans into orbit. Later, they joined fellow NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy on the space station, where Cassidy rang the NAS DAQ stock market opening bell to celebrate the launch's success. It is interesting to know that both Bob and Doug have spent many years training with SpaceX to prepare for the launch. Both of them had been to space launching twice on shuttle missions before the end of the program in 2011. In an interview with CNBC, Doug said that for me, personally, it is a great way to fly your third time in space after a nine-year way to fly previously. According to Bob Benken, their experience working with SpaceX was very well designed and they had also helped the company to finish the development and testing of the spacecraft for flight. Benken also mentioned that Elon Musk was himself very much involved in the development process. He gives the CEO credit for building the crew Dragon spacecraft. He said that many of the topics we would discuss would then be percolated up through the organization and he would give the final approval on many of the aspects of things that we were trying to get developed. Benken also said that SpaceX designed the Crew Dragon to become completely autonomous, which would not require any manual inputs from the astronauts on board. Still, the Crew Dragons will have the ability to manually dock with the space station in case of an emergency. There are buttons to command a launch, abort, initiate a deorbit, and re-entry and deploy parachutes when needed. Hurley disclosed that if there are any system failures or other issues, we would like to know with confidence that if we take over manually the vehicle will do what we need it to do. Hurley also mentioned that the Dragon's automatic docking with the space station was very gentle and comfortable. He said that the thing that really stood out to both of us, and we mentioned it as soon as we docked, is that we didn't feel the docking. It was just so smooth and then we were docked in the shuttle. You felt a little bit of a jolt, nothing really heavy, but you felt it. Both of the astronauts had good reviews for their pressure suits, which were also manufactured by SpaceX. The astronauts wore them during launching and docking and then put them on once again for their return to Earth, which was after two months in August 2020. Hurley said that the suits were custom-designed and custom-fitted, which made them very comfortable. Both the astronauts agreed that taking off the suits and putting them on in space without the effect of gravity was much easier than on Earth. Benkin added that if he had to rate the suits, he will give them a 5-star rating. He said that each suit is point designed for a specific mission. This one is designed for us to sit in our seats and protect us if there's a fire or any sort of problem with the atmosphere on board Dragon, if it's leaking out, has the smoke in it, or anything like that. Hurley was very happy that although they didn't have to do anything extreme during the mission, it was clear that the suits were ready if needed.
This flight has been a major milestone mission for SpaceX and NASA. It is disclosed that as the Crew Dragon entered Earth's atmosphere, the heat was building up outside the capsule engulfing the spacecraft in flames. This quickly affected the white exterior and clouded windows but inside the capsule, both astronauts were comfortable as if nothing happened. Benkin said that the atmosphere starts to make noise, you can hear that rumble outside the vehicle, and as the vehicle tries to control, you feel a little bit of a shimmy in your body. Even after all this, the duo was very comfortable and rated the mission as flawless. The Dragon landed safely in the water where the recovery crew was prepared to make sure its occupants were safe. The good news was that soon, both of them were back at home in Houston, ready to resume life on Earth. SpaceX has been on a mission to send payloads and humans to Earth's orbit at an enormous number in November 2021. Recently, a SpaceX rocket carried four astronauts into orbit, including the 600 person to reach space in 60 years. Another Dragon spaceship named Endurance docked with the International Space Station a day after liftoff. When the spacecraft had reached orbit, the mission commander Raj Achari told that it was a great ride better than we had imagined. NASA's chief Bill Nelson was also there at the time of the launch and after the rocket took off, Nelson praised NASA and SpaceX's partnership, saying, We're seeing the power of American ingenuity right before our eyes. Godspeed, Crew 3. I can't wait to see all that you accomplish. NASA's associate administrator said, I think it's an amazing time for America's space program. We are definitely at an inflection point. According to NASA, Germany's Matthias Maurer, who has claimed the historic 600 position based on his mission assignment, Matthias and his three NASA crewmates will arrive at the space station. It was drizzling on launch day when the four astronauts said goodbye to their families for six months. A list of 600 space travelers has been prepared including people who have never been to space like actor William Shatner to US and Russian astronauts who have spent a year or more in orbit and an estimated 10 people per year. These missions are happening every other day and the news keeps coming in. And we promise to keep you updated on the good news. So that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates about more tech-related news, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Do let us know your thoughts about these space missions and Elon Musk's mission to colonize Mars. Do you think he can finally land on Mars and colonize it one day? What do you think is going to happen next? Don't forget to share in the comments section. Thank you for staying with us.